In this video here, I'm gonna teach you how I use meditation to go from $80,000 in debt to having a six-figure income in a thriving business. What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep, and on this channel, I help you use meditation, mindfulness, and all types of modalities to become the best version of yourself. So thank you for coming in here to my high performance dojo to learn a little bit about how you could use meditation to build your dream business or at least get an idea for something else you're trying to create in your life because what I did was I used meditation to build my dream business but really you can use meditation to create whatever you want in the world. It's really a matter of getting focused and using the tools I'm gonna outline in this video to create the results that you want. And so the business I'm talking about by the way, my company Jump Rope Dudes. And so this is the company I built with a buddy of mine around four years ago and this business is basically taken me completely out of a massive amount of debt I was in and has built me up to where I have this steady six-figure income. I get to live at the beach. Uh, I only have to work around 10 hours a week on this business to keep it going. So here's what I did and what I recommend for you. Number one, I got clear on the feelings that I wanted to have, all right? I think a lot of people don't know where to begin. A lot of them are like, I don't even know what I want to create. And an awesome way to even figure that out is by starting with what feelings do you want? So I thought about if I was gonna have a business, what feelings would I want to have from this business? And number one for me was freedom. I didn't want to have to feel locked down to having to go to the same place every single day, have the same responsibilities, be locked into the same thing. I didn't want that. So I wanted a large element of freedom. Number two, I wanted it to be fun. If I'm going to commit my life to building a business, no matter what that is, what, no matter what you're committing your life to, it's going to take a lot of time. And if it's not fun for you, it's probably not going to be sustainable. The third feeling I was looking for was contribution. I wanted to contribute to something bigger than myself. So I didn't want to just make a product that was just going to benefit me. I wanted to do something that was going to make the world a better place because I know selfishly that when I do that, I feel better about myself. So the more positivity I can bring to the world, the better my life personally is gonna be. So contribution was a huge one for me and we really wanted to feel that. And number four, I wanted novelty. I wanted to constantly have new experiences. And that was a big thing for me because I've always wanted to travel around the world, do new things, meet new people. I've always been driven by that. So those are the four main feelings that are driving me. And that was my foundation before I even thought about what business I was gonna do. So step number two was I started to get clarity about the vision that I wanted. I was like, all right, if I want these feelings, what would my life feel like? What would it be like if I envisioned this? What would that experience be like for me? And then from there, I was able to start to get some clarity around, okay, well, if I was gonna feel this way, what kind of business could I have? And by connecting these dots, I started to realize, okay, well, maybe I could make a YouTube channel, maybe I could sell some automated programs on the back, back end of it, maybe I could start to find some good partnerships that I could do so I could create videos, but not always have to log hours every day to make money and said I could just put a video out there and then make the money from it as time goes by because the asset's already there. So from there at step three, I was like, all right, if I have this grandiose vision, who is this guy in the vision? What is he doing? What is his values? What are his habits? Who is this dude? So I started to get clear about the identity that I wanted. And this all was happening, you know, through these states of meditation. You know, I started off just closing my eyes and going through the feelings of how do I want to feel and meditating on that. And then I went on to envision it, seeing in my mind, doing positive visualization. And the third step here was visualizing, actually stepping into my vision and then embodying the identity that I would need to create these results. Because once I had that identity, I could go on to step four, which was beyond meditation. It was actually reverse engineering the actions that I needed to take to create the results that I wanted. So I got all the feelings, the vision, the identity, and I was like, okay, what actions do I need to start to take? What habits do I need to implement into my life to create the results I want? And that fourth step brought it all together because yes, visualization, all these things are really great. They're so powerful, they're wonderful tools, but the thing that Law of Attraction was missing, that movie, if you've ever seen it, The Secret, is that they never talked about the action that needed to be taken, the habits that had to be implemented. And that's step number four. So I took all of this visualization, these meditations, and I combined it with the action, and that's what created the results. So the final couple things that I did with meditation were I would continue to visualize every single day. I would see the results that I'm projecting into the future. I'd step into that vision. I'd make it feel real right here, right now, like I already had it. I would do that every day until I started to get the results that I wanted. 
And number two, I would just use it for basic stress and anxiety management because everyone knows when you're trying to start a new business, there's gonna be a lot of uncertainty there. And I'm the same as everyone else. I definitely had a lot of anxiety and stress around, is this gonna work out? Am I ever gonna get out of this debt? Am I ever gonna make any money? What am I doing? Is it worth it? I had all those questions in my head and I just use meditation to just sit back and observe those and just be like, okay, I'm having this experience. Yes, I'm stressed. Yes, I'm anxious. Yes, those things are real in my life but they don't need to take over my life and they don't need to disable me basically from taking action. So instead of you know living in those feelings, I would sit back in the observer seat when I experienced them and transition from a state of kind of fight or flight of like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. What do I do? To, okay, what's the next positive action I can take right here, right now to create the results that I want? So that was basically my blueprint on how I use meditation to create my dream business. And it is my dream business because it's something that has allowed me to travel all over the world to meet new people, connect with the community, contribute with people, make the income I want, and now only working 10 hours a week, I get to live at the beach and make content that I'm super passionate about, that I've always been passionate about, which is this stuff right here. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm making this video today because meditation, mindfulness, all these modalities have been so impactful in my own life and I wanna be able to pay it forward and share it with you. So hopefully this was impactful for you. If you'd like some help with this, I have a free seven day meditation challenge and community. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and uh, join my community. Go ahead and click the link, enter your email and then I'll send you links to download it for either iOS or Android. I'm also gonna give you the opportunity to get into my exclusive free Be Mindset community to get coaching from me on implementing these habits into your life. All right, so my name is Brian Epstein, AKA Zen Master Up. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please like the video, comment, drop any questions below, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.